Are you moving to Melbourne, Florida with your dog? In this video, I will show you everything Melbourne, Florida has to offer for dogs. So the best dog parks all over Melbourne, including this fantastic dog park right here with a 12 jet doggy splash pad. Yes, there's a doggy splash pad. I'll also show you where you can take your dog for a walk on the beach, the best dog friendly restaurants throughout Melbourne, Florida, the best dog resorts where your dog can have a fun time while you're on vacation and much more all coming up right now so stay tuned Hi, I'm Realtor Ben, and if you want to learn everything about living in Melbourne, Florida, please make sure you tap that subscribe button right now so you're updated every time we make a new video about living in Melbourne, Florida and the Space Coast. And of course, if you're even thinking about moving to Melbourne, Florida or the Space Coast, give us a call or shoot us a text. We're getting so many calls and texts and we absolutely love it. Now let's dive right into Melbourne, Florida for dogs. We'll start in Melbourne's southern area off of West Florida Avenue where you can find the Pelock Dog Park offering separate fenced parks for smaller and larger dogs with several shaded seating areas and Adirondack chairs owners can relax while their dogs can play with tons of agility equipment tunnel systems and when they need a little refreshment on a hot day the park has mist spraying fire hydrants Now all that playtime can work up an appetite, so it's good to know that just 8 minutes north in downtown Melbourne you can find several dog-friendly restaurants and bars, like Off The Track Sports Bar and Grill, where you can enjoy wings, sandwiches, wraps, burgers, ribs, meatloaf and more, together with your dog on their dog-friendly patio with an outdoor bar or enjoy one of the 37 draft beers and a full bar at debauchery offering pool tables, live music and a dog friendly outdoor area. If you prefer more of a country feel, check out Hurricane Creek where you can enjoy pork rinds, pickle fries, country fried steak, pot roast and more with a full bar, pool tables, line dancing and of course a dog friendly patio. For some exotic flavor, you can visit El Ambia for some traditional Cuban food like yuca, tamal, ropa vieja or churrasco with a dog-friendly outdoor area. Other dog-friendly restaurants in downtown Melbourne include The Burger Place and La Crepe. And if you ever need a doggy resort while you're on vacation, just 5 minutes from downtown Melbourne is the K9 campus where you can book daycare, boarding and grooming for your dog in their 21,000 square feet indoor facility and 35,000 square feet outside area, offering a multi-level playground and a dog pool. And moving on to the center of Melbourne where you can find Wickham Park, which is a nearly 400 acre public park where you can walk or jog with your dog along the 5 mile drive or one of the many trails throughout the park. There are two sizable fenced dog parks, one for smaller dogs and one for large dogs. There is plenty of space here for your dogs to run around and seating areas for owners. Wickham Dog Park is one of the largest if not the largest dog park I've seen in Melbourne, Florida so it's worth checking out. And after playing around in the dog park there are areas to give your dog a refreshing shower. Overall, Wickham Park is a fantastic park with two swimming lakes, volleyball courts, an exercise trail, various picnic areas throughout the park, a soccer and softball fields, horseshoe pits, a playground and even an archery area. Inside the fence, dog parks, dogs can be off leash, but of course your dogs have to be on a leash throughout the rest of the park. And just a couple of minutes north on Wickham Road, you can find Gators Dog Site Bar and Grill, serving traditional American pup favorites like buffalo shrimp, lobster rolls, barbecue ribs, seafood pasta, cheeseburgers, and more. And dogs are welcome at the outdoor patio tables. And moving on to the next area of Melbourne, Florida, which is Vieira. And here we can find two dog parks. The first one is the Vieira Town Center Park located across the street from the Avenue Vieira Mall behind the Centerpoint Apartments. 
This beautiful waterfront park offers wide sidewalks, open green spaces, a community event lawn and a playground. And there are two separate dog parks for small and large dogs to play off leash, both with benches and drinking water and water hoses for your dogs. If you're looking for a dog friendly restaurant nearby, you can check out the Alioncito Vieira, which is just five minutes up Stadium Parkway and has a large dog friendly patio with a full outdoor bar and outdoor seating. With live music like salsa and mariachis and an extensive menu of Mexican and Cuban dishes. The second dog park is the Viera Bark Park, which features a separately fenced section for smaller dogs and a massive area for dogs 30 pounds and up. Outside the fenced areas there is a small pavilion with restrooms, a drinking fountain picnic area and a ground level drinking fountain for your dogs that an owner fills by stepping on a lever. The park is south of the Wickham Road and Lake Andrew Drive roundabout and is open to all Vieira residents. If you're looking for dog-friendly restaurants and bars nearby, you can visit Uno Pizzeria and Grill just 8 minutes over in the Sun Tree area. They have a dog-friendly outdoor seating area where you can enjoy craft beers and Chicago-style deep dish pizza. A little further east on Wickham Road, you can find Tracy's Lounge. Inside you can enjoy a flare of the 50s with two full liquor bars, 11 TVs and live music. Their outdoor patio is dog friendly and you can enjoy fresh pizza and sandwiches as well as salads, tacos and wings. Next up is Melbourne, Florida's closest dog beach. Here at Canova Beach Park, just 7 minutes from the mainland of Melbourne. This 9.1 acre community beach park includes a small pavilion, a grill, picnic shelter, benches, restrooms, a drinking fountain and an area to wash your dog after playing in the sand. One of the three dune crossovers is wheelchair accessible and while the beach is dog friendly, all dogs must be on a leash and owners must pick up after their pets. Just across the street from Canova Beach Park you can find Coasters, Pub and Beer Garden. Here you can find a vast selection of beers from all over the world and a dog friendly Bavarian style beer garden where you and your dog can enjoy shrimp, sandwiches, fish and chips, burgers, wings, burrito bowls and more. The next area is West Melbourne and by the way I hope you're enjoying this video and I would appreciate your support so if you can hit that like button you would help me out and help me make more videos about Melbourne, Florida and the Space Coast. And now back to West Melbourne where you can find the Bryant Adams Dog Park again with two separate fenced areas for small and larger dogs. There is also a picnic table on a large grassy area, restrooms and a tennis court and for your dogs there are splash pools and hoses to wash your dogs after playing. And if you need a dog resort in this area, check out Preppy Pets, just 10 minutes north on 3825 West O'Galley Boulevard. Here your dog can stay in climate controlled play areas, offering private suites and customized experiences for your dog, with group and private play or cageless stays with overnight pet sitters. And now we're moving to the O'Galley area of Melbourne, Florida, where you can find the second Pilot Park. This new dog park includes large fenced areas for large and small dogs on nearly an acre of land. Volunteers used about 70,000 recycled plastic bottles and jugs to create many of the items around the park. Inside the central dog park is a 12 jet doggy splash pad, which is sure to be every dog's favorite attraction. In addition to the unique splash pad, the park features mist spraying fire hydrants and to satisfy your dog's need for adventure, Fido's Ford, a multi-tunnel system that will have your dogs running in and out all day.
Now if you want a refreshing drink or a snack for you or your dog, you'll find Bonefish Willies just 4 minutes east of the new Pilot Park. Bonefish Willies is a dog friendly family owned restaurant and bar with a charming character and large dog friendly riverfront deck. From here you and your dogs can enjoy a cold drink and great surf and turf dishes including coconut shrimp, crab cakes, fresh fish and steaks while enjoying the beautiful views of the Indian River on the sun shaded deck with live music on Fridays and Saturdays. And if you need a pet resort in the O'Galley area, visit Woof's Play Care's 4,000 square feet indoor play space and two outside playgrounds. And if you're willing to travel a little further, visit their sister location at the Paradise Luxury Dog Resort in Palm Bay, just five minutes south of West Melbourne. Paradise for Dogs is a 12-acre facility offering two separate houses, one for smaller dogs, one for larger dogs, as well as two large ponds for your dogs to play in and there are always plenty of splash pools and toys for all dogs. In case of an emergency, it's also good to know that there are 24-hour animal hospitals in Melbourne, Florida, where you can take your pets. The first one is Animal Specialty and Emergency Center right in the center of Melbourne on 2281 West O'Galley Boulevard. You can call them 24 hours to assess the situation and their 24-hour facility provides diagnosis and treatment, including advanced imaging and a board-certified neurologist. The second animal hospital is Animal Specialty and Emergency Center on 5775 Schneck Avenue in Rockledge, which will be the closest location if you live in Vieira, Suntree or Pineda. They also have veterinarians on duty 24 hours, 7 days a week, trained and equipped to handle any urgent care your pet has. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos about Melbourne, Florida and the Space Coast, make sure you hit that subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment below if you'd like to see something specific in and around Melbourne, Florida. I know what it feels like to move here and I can relate, so if you're even thinking about moving to Melbourne, Florida or the Space Coast, give us a call or you can send us a text 24 hours, 7 days a week. So no matter what time it is right now, feel free to reach out if you're having any questions about moving here. because we got your back with moving to Melbourne, Florida and the Florida Space Coast. I'm Realtor Ben and I'll see you in the next video.